the reason why we take students out on field trips uh, is really to gain a better understanding of the spectacular landscape that we live in here in British Columbia. We wanted to take you out, show a little bit of it to you, and try to get you to um, understand some of the processes that have led to the, uh, to the landforms that we see around us. The other reason why we take students out on field trips is to gain some experience in the field. We want you to get out, we want you to be able to see landforms, and maybe figure out uh, some elementary ways of measuring them. And of course, the other reason we take students out on field trips is because it's lots of fun. It's lots of fun taking students out into the field and um, seeing things. So there's a few, few things that we do when we go out into the field that I want to make uh, note of for you. So that even though we're doing this field trip virtually, there are still things that are important for you to do, even if you're sitting at home watching this as part of the class. The first thing that we, we do that is really important when we're in the field is we keep detailed notes. And so you can see here, I have my field notebook in my hand where I have my notes about what I'm talking about you, to you today. But anytime we go to a particular stop, we always record in those field books a few things. The first thing is the date and the time. Another thing we always like to record is the weather. Now the weather might not be important to what you're uh, looking at at a particular field site, but it might help you remember things uh, later on if you jot down a few notes about the weather where you are. We always like to write down the location where we are, um, make note often of the GPS uh, coordinates, and then often give a particular location a site name. And for this field trip, what we normally do is we make a note of the landform that we're looking at, and also um, we make some notes on the processes that we think might have formed that landform while we're looking at it in the field. So you can't do that during a virtual field trip. You can't be on site, see the landforms, and um, make those notes. But what you can do is at home, you can be making those notes as we go site to site, and it'll help you um, working through those notes later, it'll help you recall the things that these videos um, at the different sites were about.